password. Not all recipes we make come from old French king's tables. Some of them come from the peasants' ones. Food was scarce and people were great at using produce and herbs from their garden and cheese from their cows, goats, or sheep. Potatoes were introduced in Spain by the conquistadors coming back from their expedition in the Inca world during the 16th century. It took almost 200 years for potatoes to spread all over Europe and be cultivated for human consumption. At first it was so precious that only, it was only used as medicine by rich people. By the beginning of the 18th century, potatoes became a staple of the everyday meal. Because every house would have cheese and potatoes at hand, gratin recipes began to flourish in every region of France. The word tartiflette is probably derived from the franco provencal word for t potato, tartiflò, or tartufoli in Italian. This modern recipe was inspired by a truly traditional dish called pella, a gratin of potatoes and onions, without cheese, cooked in the hearth on a long-handled pen called the pelagi, or shovel, in the east of France. The tartiflette as we know it today was developed 40 years ago by a group of cheese professionals to promote sales of a cheese called Revolchon. Several French regions developed their own recipes using different cheeses like Morbière or Morois. Some use cream, white wine, milk, or even beer to keep the moisture in the gratin. Reblochon is pretty difficult to find in the U.S., and it's quite expensive here, about $20 a pound. For good results, we can use a substitute, raclette cheese, which is easier to find in specialty stores. Enjoy this nice winter recipe. Stay warm and keep on cooking. Tartiflette is something we eat usually um, in the mountain when we go skiing because it's a kind of heavy meal. So first, what we do, we prepare the potatoes, we cook first the potatoes, we cook separately the pancetta and the onions, and you mix everything together in, in a big pan, or the small one, just is nicer. You mix everything, you put the potatoes, the mix of the onions and the pancetta, a little bit of cream to be rich. And on the top, you add a piece of cheese. And usually when you do it the tradition, in the traditional way, it's a big pan and you put the, the reblochon, it's a round uh, cheese. So you, could, you cut the reblochon in half and you put it on the top of the potatoes and the rest of the ingredients. So are you ready? Yeah. And it's typical for this weather because here, now we are freezing, there is snow everywhere, so it's perfect. So first thing, peel the potatoes. So Sabina, are you able to peel the potatoes you with your hand? Um, kind of. If you do, if you can, tell me. I will help you. So you peel the potatoes and you slice. You you have two options: in cubes or slice. For this mold, we are going to use slices because it's more convenient to fit inside the lamkin. Maybe I can add you too. Mm -hmm. huh? So during that time we prepare some uh, boiling water. So dry the potatoes and just have to slice it. Done. 
so you know how to do it. Okay, so not to set okay. mm -hmm. up all the fingers. And of course, no, uh, no, no, wait, wait, wait. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm left to show you the same one. So now we need the big saucepan and we will cut the onions in the pan. Never, never hold a knife like this. It's too dangerous because if you whip, they will clean your stomach. So you know how to do it. You slice in two or like this. Okay. 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 Mm -hmm. So for you, it's like this. So put your fingers like this. And not too close to the knife. Voilà, perfect. Okay. Here we have the pancetta. So you know what is pancetta? Yeah. Ah, tell me. Oh, it's like, I don't know. <laughs> it's an Italian bacon, actually. Yeah. And it's not cooked cook, uh, as we do in the US, it depends. But uh, it's an uh, Italian style bacon. And you can use it because it's, it's very convenient. This brand is already cut, so you get some time. Okay. We have plenty of onions. Mm -hmm. Do you like onions? No. Yeah. Are you kidding me? <laughs> really? Yeah. I don't like onions. At all? Even no. when it's cooked? No. Okay, so we will do a special one for you without onions. No. But yes, we can. No, I eat onions. I don't like them though. <laughs> no? Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. So, so can I do put the pancetta in the pan? Thank you. 
So we are almost there for the specificity. So what we have to do is to measure the heavy cream because we are going to mix the heavy cream with the um, onions and pancetta. So can you measure one cup? Yeah. And we are going to drain the potatoes. Okay, put it here. Perfect. Oops. Okay, so I'm going to potatoes. It's Pancetta, the onions and the cream on top. More. Mm. Okay, then you add another potato on top. And then we have the cheese. Come here. Easy, huh? Eh? And a piece of cheese on the top. Good. Oh, you can put some potatoes again. Inside. Okay, and do it again. So, do you know what we do after skiing in France when we deserve a good meal? We do tartiflette, but there is a famous uh, also, uh, uh, we do a raclette. Yeah. This is this kind of cheese, but uh, uh, with a uh, charcuterie and potatoes. But we grill the, the, we melt the cheese and we put the cheese on the top of the potatoes and the charcuterie. Oh! What we can do also, and it's delicious, it's a fondue savoyard. It's a fondue made with sweet different cheese. It depends if it's um, fondue from Switzerland. So, Francois can tell us how to do the fondue from Switzerland. It's not the same as the fondue in France. The cheese are not the same, but you know, in Switzerland you have what we call moitié moitié. So, it's half Vacherin Fribourgeois and, uh, and Gruyère, for example. And it's very good, those are very good cheese. And in France, we put more emmental, uh, gouffard. Yeah. So it's not the same kind of cheese, but the result is the same. It's very good. And you melt the cheese in some wine and also some kirsch. Sometimes you add a little bit and it's super good. And you, you eat that with some bread. Yes, you tip your a piece of a dry bread inside the melted cheese. Oh, and it's delicious. But, uh, it's very rich. It's not so, oh, it's okay. The is ready. Careful. Mm. Oh my god. Come on. Alors, be careful, it's super, super hot. Don't. Bubbling It's still bubbling. Yeah. yeah. 
two of them. So mm. even you can decide if you don't like too much uh, onions. Yeah. Are you sure? You want to try? Okay. Okay. So before to try, we have to wait five minutes because okay. otherwise you are going to burn yourself. Or oh. well, oh, soft maybe a little piece. I'm not tasting until it's cooled down. Mm. 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 I think I'll try this one, no? So try this one. So pick a little piece on the edge. Add the potato. Okay. And wait, wait. Ready? Right. Smoking. Oh, I have it. Ready, so go. Mm -hmm. Good. Good. Okay. You like it, Carissa? Yeah. Okay. So this, this is the tartiflette. Mm -hmm. And for next uh, month, maybe girls, we want you want to do some dessert? Yeah. Something, something uh, sweet? Yeah. Okay. So maybe next month it will be sweet. And uh, thank you for everything. Yeah.